Hey all, Kyle here, AA0Z. I got a few emails about my satellite setup and I wanted to do a video and show you all the things that I purchased and um, completed this basic kit for my satellite setup. All the links for the accessories and the bag are in the description below. So let's get started. So this first piece of gear is the bag that holds everything. Um, I got this off of Amazon, and it is a Molly admin bag that uh, I was searching around for chess bags and found this. It's got this webbing strap that you can buy that uh, goes along your back. I have opted to take an old camera bag strap and just strap it to the the D hooks here at the top of the bag. Now, is this uh, the most stable? No, it's not. Um, I will probably change over to the back harness, but um, it does decently well. You know, as I'm getting started here, I'm slowly figuring out what what works and what doesn't work. Um, so, this is the bag. It is that admin bag. I think it was uh, about uh, twenty five dollars off of. Amazon and uh, it is good quality. Um, it does the purpose. So let's start inside the bag and you can see that it's got, I don't know if you can see all the way in there, but it's got these elastic cords that keep the bag from opening all the way, which is great because you don't want to unzip it and just have it flop out um, onto the ground. So it keeps all of the contents inside. So I've got my radio here. This is the Kenwood um, TMV71A. I had this lying around and uh, these are 3D printed rails that I printed and then I uh, put some paracord and I was just hanging this around my neck and before I got to the actual bag to put everything in the bag. This just sets in the bottom of the bag. It goes between the elastic straps to keep the bag from opening, and that kind of keeps it centered in the bag. And typically all I do is I just, I just unzip it about this far to, to get access to the radio, okay? So if I pull out the radio here and all of the stuff that comes with it, you can see that I've got some things on the bottom of it that I'll show you what I've done. And you've got plenty of room here to put a battery. So I use a BioNO battery of 4.5 amp hour. You could probably get a th easily get a three amp hour. And then I've got my mic here that I just put in the bottom of it. And that is all that's in this pouch. So for my radio here, what I've done is first you have to get audio out of your radio and into your ears. I would recommend not using the speakers on the radio because you will not be able to hear those faint sounds. So what I have done is I went on, uh, I believe I got this off of Amazon, maybe eBay, maybe eBay. So this is a right connector for the speaker jack on the back of the radio. So this is a TRS, and it comes out TRS, and the back of the radio has got these speaker connections. So because this thing is sitting in the back or the bottom of the, the Molly pouch, I have just used that 90 degree to come out so it's not kinking the cable. And then I just bought a splitter. So this is just a regular three and a half millimeter TRS splitter. And that goes into the speaker jack. And then one side of it goes, it's just a, a regular TRS to TRS. That goes into my recorder, my Zoom H1 recorder, so I can record the pass. And then this other side goes into my headphones. So I've got mono, a tip and a sleeve, because this is TRS. What I want is both, I want uh, 
audio in both my ears, so I use a TS connector to a TRS connector, so I get audio in both my ears. If you just plugged your headphones directly into this splitter that comes out of the speaker, you're only going to hear audio in one ear. So this way I hear audio in both ears, and uh, this is just a, an adapter that I had. I'll, pro I'll find one on eBay and, and put it... Uh, put the, the link in the description. So that's how I get audio out of my radio. Um, I just have a short lead here for the power, and then I have, uh, it's not here, it's somewhere else, but uh, what I did was I took a fuse, a just a, a regular automotive fuse, and used that put power poles on the end of that, and that connects into, well, one connects into the female part of this uh, this Kenwood connector. That's what I call it. I, I don't know what the, the proper terminology is. A JST connector, maybe? I don't know. You can put the, in the comments below, put what this connector is. I call it a Kenwood connector. But it's got the female end on one side, and then it's got power poles on the other, and then that plugs into my battery. And I keep that as short as possible so I don't have a lot of cords in the bottom of my in the bottom of the uh, the molly pouch so now let's talk about how to get rf in and out of the radio so what i decided to do and again put your comments in in the the comments below i went and got two 90 degree pl259 male to female adapters so I bring this out the top of my pack and then to my antenna. So again, these are just 90 degrees, comes out of the radio, gets another 90 degrees, and comes out the top of it. You'll want to make sure that these are the square connectors. Those are the better connectors, the, the low loss connectors. I mean, there's very little loss in this in connectors anyway, but... Uh, you know, pay a couple of more bucks and, and get this connector. The only thing that I do not like about this is it sits sideways in my pouch here because this actually rests on the bottom of the pouch, and this is the other side, so it sits at an angle. But it is what it is. It's, uh, it's better than hanging this on my chest here with, uh, with these doodads. That I made up. So this is how I get RF in and out of the radio. And sometimes I have to make sure that these are con um, these are good and tight. You might want to take a pair of pliers and crank down on this. Don't crank down too hard, but uh, give it a good twist to make sure these things, uh, they don't come apart. And then this goes to my elk antenna. And that is basically my setup that I have made for a temporary solution until I figure out what works and what doesn't work. Um, this will get you on the air quickly without spending a lot of dollars. Like I, I didn't want to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars to, to get a whole setup or uh, to get like one of those man packs and then figure out that I didn't like parked or um, satellite. So this is my setup. Hopefully this will harbor some ideas for you and uh, get you on the air on working satellites. If you have a better setup or a better way of doing all of this, I'd like to hear it. Put your uh, ideas and uh, your comments in the, the, uh, the comments below. And um, yeah, thanks, 73.